Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. We're going on a little mini trip. Very impromptu. We only booked it last night. We're going to go have two nights down in Paynton. So I will be filming bits and bobs of kind of what we do there, not everything. I will also be filming Paynton Zoo. We've been there a few times before. That will be kind of its separate own video though. So far, I don't want to jinx it. The weather is beautiful right now. Hopefully it sticks. We're here, we made it. Slight hold up on the M5, you can't help these things. We're at the travel lodge, which is on the seafront, so we're gonna go and dump the stuff in the room and then get to the beach. So we're in our room, we're in number 210, just for information. Turn around and here it is. So as soon as you walk in on the left is the bathroom with the shower. Hello, I'm just doing this really quick because you probably don't wanna see the room. Nice double bed and then smaller beds. We also, because we're on the seafront, we were hoping that we would get a good room. Oh, excuse me, creaking on the bed. We can see the sea. There it is. So we can see the sea from our room. So we're just going to have a little unwind and then go and explore. So we are staying in a hotel way down there and we just decided to have a walk along the seafront tide is in at the moment so we can't walk on the sand we can have a walk up there we can just have an explore and listen to the sea and enjoy the sun look how clear the water is Last time I was here, the tide was out and you could walk over all of this bit. We're going to have a walk through there. Leo said there's a place called Fairy Cove. We're going to go check it out. There it is. Again, the tide's in a bit. I think we've timed it wrong. We're going to try and come back to all these places when the tide is further out. Because I've been here a couple of times. Leo's been here loads. We walked out on this bit just before. There's loads of rocks there. So... Hopefully, we'll come back maybe later, maybe in the morning, and the tide will be out. So this is Paynton. If you walk all the way up here, we're going to go over to Goodrington. It is a little bit uphill, but it is a nice walk. Oh, I can hear seagulls everywhere, as you would expect when you're near the sea. But just over here, we'll get there in a minute. Here we go. It is quite a walk down, it's very steep. There's a couple steep steps as well. But this is, what's this one? Goodrington Sands. Goodrington Sands. Very nice down here. If you have a dog, this is the beach where it tends to be the most doggy friendly. We always see lots of doggies down here. We've seen some jellyfish down there before as well. But it's so beautiful. Just look at it. Oh, and there's a water and park. The oh yeah, the steam train does pass through and kind of over there somewhere, she says. We need to see it to know exactly. Right, we need to scale this hill now. We've just come from up there, down the windy stairs, and then here we are. It's beautiful. We have seen jellyfish down there before. Haven't seen any yet, but you never know. We've sat down for a bit and there's some paddle boarders out there. We reckon there's a lesson, because most of them have got red vests on, but one has a blue vest. So we're thinking it's a paddle board lesson. Over there in the distance, where's my finger? There, it's Brixham. And would you believe the last time we were here, we walked that from Paynton all the way to Brixham. We walked it. Are we pay for it the next day? 
but it was a nice walk. So we are going to eat at the Inn on the Green. Today is Wednesday, June the 14th, so it is the bike and nice that starts at 6pm, so we're hopefully going to see that later. There are two new massive hotels here. I'm sure one used to be a sports bar. Looks like they're still being built and it's right opposite the pier. There is the pier. So we're going to go have some food and then hopefully see some bikes. So we're in the Inn on the Green and Wednesday just happens to be curry night. We've also grabbed a window seat because the bikers are going to be going in just there. So it starts at 6 but they might arrive early so we've got a really good seat to see a lot of them. Very lovely tea Leo enjoyed his mixed grill as well. He doesn't like mushrooms, that's why he's left those. We don't like mushrooms. It's just about to turn 6 o'clock. So there's quite a few bikes turning up now. We've seen some really big fancy ones. We also saw a massive Harley Davidson truck turn up as well. The best part of any meal is the dessert, obviously. I have had, where is it now? The, oh, which one did I get? I went with the blood orange brownie and Leah went with the praline chocolate tart. They look amazing. I've never heard of like a blood orange brownie, so I'll give it a go. So we nip back to the hotel to have an outfit change. Now we're gonna go check out some of the bikes. I say outfit change, it's only because I'm cold all the time, so I needed a jumper. Look at all the bikes. where the bikes have been tired going out there so you can see the underneath you walk on the beach dip your toes i'm gonna go back over to ferry cove see if we can get around there now that the tide's going out so we've come back to ferry cove because the tide is now coming out and leo said he saw a little crab moving where was it again right in the middle. Oh. It's actually moving as well. Ooh, there must be little creatures in them. But yeah, this is how it looks when the tide is out. And if you've seen my videos before, I was just doing some Disney pictures with Loungefly. <laughs> Have a guess which Loungefly. You've not seen it yet, but it's coming soon. It's in the backpack. So beautiful down here. Oh, seagulls. So I suppose that's the downside. When the tide goes out, there'll be some little fishies left, so the seagulls get to come and have a peck in these little rock pools. There'll be some little fishies. And yeah, there's loads of barnacles everywhere. Also, where's one of those thingies? Somebody tell us, what is this? We don't know what it is. Oh, gotta walk carefully. Do not fall. What is this thing here? We don't know what it is, we don't want to touch it. It looks like a shell of some sort. I don't want to get too close to it. What is this? There's a couple of them that are just kind of washed up on the rocks. There's some more there. What are they? Somebody let me know. Oh, we're having a real quick walk up the pier. And Batman is here. <laughs> Batman's here on the pier, apparently. There you go, that rhymes. Ooh, we have Darth Vader and Chewie. 
and a stormtrooper. This is new. On the end of the pier, they have dinosaur golf. It's like half past eight right now, so it's closed. But they also have this Captain America. And he has googly eyes. He has someone stuck googly eyes on him. There you go, you can have a picture there. Leo's feet are hurting. We might have to come back and do this dinosaur golf. We are on the end of the pier right now. Most of the bikers have gone. There's just a couple left. And for some reason, all the seagulls are kind of congregating down there. They're having their daily seagull meeting. We might head back to the hotel now. And we're back in the room. It's about half past nine now, so we're gonna just kind of decompress. Our feet are starting to hurt a little bit. It was so much fun seeing all the bikes there. I know I don't know the specific date of when it happens, but I know it's through the summer. It's not through like the winter months or anything like that, and it's every Wednesday. It starts at six. There were still some bikers there now at half nine. So I suppose it just depends how long they want to stay there for. This video will also include tomorrow, so good night for us. But I'll see you in just a tick. Good morning. Day two, we're gonna have a walk about, see what we can do. There's a couple of options that we've got. We might walk to Torquay and then go on the open top bus, or we might try and do the big steam train that we saw yesterday. The world is our oyster as we're at the beach, but we're gonna go and grab some breakfast downstairs and then go outside. We thought we'd have another walk along the beach. I'm also testing the onboard mic for this video, not my external one. So I wanted to pick up more of the beach surrounding sounds. What time is it now? Right now it is nine minutes past ten and it's Thursday June the 15th 2023. Tide is out at the moment. We're gonna go find where we want some breakfast. Oh there's people in the sea already. Doesn't that just look beautiful? I mean we've really looked out on the weather. We have been here for a week before where it was nothing but rain so we've got very lucky with this beautiful weather. Okay, we're doing the round robin. We need to get on the train because it leaves in five minutes. There we go. Here it is, it'll leave in five minutes. Oh, Hercules. There we go, Disney theme. Okay, hopefully this is coming up. This is what we're doing. So we're going from Paynton to Kingswear on the train. Then a small little boat. Oh, hello. That's my coat. And then a small boat from Dartmouth Morning. to Totnes. Morning. Morning. Then a bus from Totnes to Paynton. There we go. One of them she said was like an hour and a half river cruise. So we need to find coach F. Which one's F? Okay, there's letters on here, so we're probably nearer the end. And we have our seats reserved. She said there's plenty of people along the way in case we get lost, because we've not done this before. But Leo's always wanted to do it, so we're doing it. What's that one? That one's D, that one's E, so the next one's F. Perfect. There we go, we're on Elizabeth. Oh, they'll need to find the seats. Okay, seat numbers are up top there. Here we are. So we're opposite. And we're hoping that we'll be able to see the ocean from this side. I'll show you the view as best I can. We're moving. There are different options. We've done the full round robin where you do the train coach and the bus. Oh, it's all the center. Waving at everybody. You can just do the train option. Uh, what's the other option? There's the full round robin, there's just the train option. Um, you can there's the steam and cruise. Of the steam and cruise, whereas we've decided to do the full thing. We've never done it before. And today's Leo's birthday, birthday boy, happy birthday. <laughs> and we wanted to do this, so we're doing it. Goodrunt and Sands, by the way. I wonder what they're building there. Oh, there's people. Way. Such a beautiful day tonight. Loads of boats out. People can see already. Hi there, tickets please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you, you've got to get your uh, 
It's like it's pretty. Oh, like a proper punch. Oh, I love this. It's very like Hogwarts Express. that we need to get over to Dartmouth and then it's three o'clock that we've got the cruise back up. It's so calm here. Here's the ferry. We're gonna cross over. Also, we saw a jellyfish down there. Yes, it might seem like a slight obsession. I just like seeing where there's jellyfish. every 15 minutes. No. There's another train coming in over there. We've had quite the walk as an explore. Got another half hour before the boat. Well, cruise. Cruise back up. Oh, look, here we go. That's how they will transport some of the cars over. Cars get your own ferry. Hopefully it's not too windy. I'm testing the onboard mic with a little windshield compared to my external one for this. So beautiful and calm here. I feel like I could live here. I'd leave the city. We live in Telford at the moment. Don't get me wrong, it's nice enough, but it just doesn't compare. I've always loved the sea and the ocean. And it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
cruise time. We're going from Dartmouth to Totnes. We've managed to get a seat outside and upstairs in the shade. So I'll turn around and show you the view one second. Here we are. Oh, a nice view to get there. They've said this will take about 90 minutes. And then after that we have, well, it, the boat's been a little bit delayed, so I think we're going to get about half an hour in Totnes, and then the bus back to painting. We had a change of plan. We've swapped into the sunny side, but we are about to set off. We're moving, we're just reversing out, and then we'll be off. We are obliged by law just to give you all a very brief but very important safety announcement. Our instruction given to you by the crew. I will introduce you to your crew today. My name is Ben, I'm your skipper. I'll also be giving you a bit of a commentary, pointing out a few places and things of interest as we make our way up river to Tottenham. Also be pointing out any wildlife we may be lucky enough to spot. And with me on the boat today we have Ethan. We're having a race with the train. But there is actually another of the members of the royal family that have oh, been employed the up on the hill on our left, which does include our new... Locally, it's pronounced as Didson, and that's for no better reason, and they're not very fond of long words in this part of the world. It's divided into very separate parts of the village of Ditcham, the part we're seeing a little bit of in front of us here is known as the Lower Ditcham. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the Dark Princess. Our skipper has been Ben. It is Thursday, June the 15th, 2023. He's been phenomenal. Lovely jokes. Obviously historical commentary, but sarcasm is just my thing. And it's been amazing. And he's already wished us a Merry Christmas. And in his words, we are now going to perform a controlled crash. And then it's about 50 minutes till the bus leaves back to Paynton. Which looks like it might very well be on that bus right there. So we can have a bit of an explore of Totnes. Have a look around. Grab a drink. Not a huge amount of time. We can see what we can do. There we go. Very good control crash. This boat will go back, but we are getting off. Look at that white dress. Okay, we'll get 15 minutes here now with the slight delays but that's fine so we're just gonna probably have an ice cream and a sit down that might be terrible lighting very nice and calm here but the bus is due any minute now so we're just gonna kind of sit and wait for the bus the boat has gone a ship boat cruise boat has gone again so bus back to Peyton go we've got a nice open top to get back in Yeah. 
Royal Cornwall Dock Off Point is the painting has stopped. So it's 20 past 8. Slight outfit change just because the sun's going in. We're going to, because the tide's going out again, we're walking down to the end of Preston and then we're going to walk back in the sea as long as it's not too cold. Oh, it's chilly. There we go, proof that was in the sea. Oh, it's very cold when you first go in though, but it's worth it. I mean, you kind of get used to it real quick. It's just that initial shock. Right now, it's just coming up to nine o'clock. Tide is going out. We're gonna have a walk down to the pier. There we go. Full proof. <laughs> So it is the next morning. It was that late that we got back last night. We just decided to go to bed. So last day, however, I am gonna end this video here because all we're gonna do today is paint and zoo, which is gonna be its own video, which might already have been up if it has, I'll link it down below. I know this was only like a quick little video. It wasn't meant to be like a proper vlog, just a bit of a mini one of some of the things that we were doing down here. Hopefully you've all enjoyed it, but thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.